A very warm welcome, dear customer, to our most digital session. Of course, we have a session of digitalization, but now you will see the most pneumatic digitalized product. Marcus will be able to show you the Festo Motion Terminal. And here, this is just stunning technologies, stunning possibilities for you when we look into motion apps, when we look into digitalization, how to make pneumatics digital. Marcus, the booth is all yours. Martin, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Dear customers, well, before I go to digital pneumatics with a motion terminal, I would like to give you a short introduction of what makes us able to digitize pneumatics, actually. I am a product manager at Festo. Uh, I would like to take you for the next 15 minutes to a journey of uh, piezo technology, the utilization of piezo to automation of products, and at the end, the digitization of pneumatics. Well, let's first start with a piezoelectric effect. Many years ago, Festo started research in utilizing the piezoelectric effect for automational products. The piezoelectric effect um, in, uh, in, in solutions, in innovative, in innovative products at the end, made us to be uh, the innovation leader, the technology leader in piezo technology. And this was also the door opener for us to digitize pneumatics. What actually is the piezoelectric effect? And with this, I would start my session to introduce to you some basic technology with, and end up with the motion terminal at the end. Therefore, I brought a simple lighter. This is a piezoelectric electric lighter, which uh, is more or less of the same technology basis. The principle is that I cause a deformation by suddenly unloading this deformation in an electric um, uh, arc, I am able to ignite a flame. So again, I'm, I'm deforming something, I'm suddenly releasing the electricity, and then I ignite a flame. What we do at Festo is that we turn that um, process around. And this is how we utilize pneumatics um, and, uh, um, uh, and piezoelectric effects for automational products. So the, what you saw on the lighter before, some, some seconds ago, you saw that we deformed something and then generated electricity. With our piezoelectric valve, we do it the, the other way around. So we take electricity, we take a certain voltage to deform. As you see on those pictures, the deformation is then able to cause a certain airflow. A higher voltage means a higher airflow, a lower voltage means a lower airflow. And by doing so, we are able to utilize this effect for automation by controlling airflows. Connected this with, with sensors, for example, pressure or flow sensors, we have closed loop systems with which we are able to control pneumatic systems. The benefits of Piezo are basically that we have an infinite resolution. We can control airflows very, very acutely. We are uh, able to operate without any wear and by doing so without any emission of particles, which is very important for some of our uh, industries. And it's very small and noiseless. By those advantages of Piezo, it is very uh, interesting that we are able to utilize this effect in piezo valves. What you see over here are our VEAA and VEAB valves that are based on those, those, those piezoelectric um, elements, uh, very accurate valves that are, that are able to control the, um, the pressure and, um, and flow soon as well. Over here, this is our new flagship and proportional pressure regulation, actually not based on piezo, uh, but based on, um, on a direct operational mode as well. We can operate this product from minus 1 up to 12 bar. We have a flow rate up to 1,500 lit liters per minute. And it is more or less our industry 4.0 line because we can also detect um, cable breaks, for example. Based on that information, we can derive um, issues in the system and by that inform the customer if something is going wrong with, with this machine. Below there, you see our standard range of products, um, our VPPM, VPPX, VPPE and MPYE, our standard line uh, for pressure and, and flow control. Um, and now I want to give you an example how we also can utilize the, the previously seen Piezo technology for um, a real application. This is what you see over here. You see, the, see that this is a nitrogen purging system. Nitrogen purging systems are used in semiconductor factories. 
Over here, this black box you see over here is a wafer carrier. This wafer carrier is carrying wafers through the whole factory. Depending on what, this, what, what those wafers carry, those can be very, very expensive. Imagine those Intel i7 core chips. Um, oxidation, so oxygen, can cause issues to those, those waivers. This is why we need to prevent oxidation and therefore we use, in this case, a special solution with nitrogen to purge those, those um, FUPs. So we use the Piezo technology. It's very interesting to, to utilize uh, a technology that don't have any uh, particle emissions for purging FUPs. So with this, in that case, we use a flow controller to continuously and very accurately control the flow. Now, um, when I go to the next display, it's about the motion terminal. In that case, you see two valves that are controlling up to four different channels of flow. Previously, you've seen behind my back that we are able to control one channel of flow. We now have the possibility to control four channels of flow simultaneously based on just one bus node. You can combine this with, uh, with the sensors and make very accurate um, airflow in lower flow ranges as well. So this actually is only one application where the VTEM, the Festo Motion Terminal, Martin mentioned this, digitization of pneumatic previously is, is possible. Um, flow is one. Over here on this display you see much more. Those are the so-called motion apps. The motion apps are software algorithms that enable the valve with one part number, every valve looks the same. We have uh, one valve design, and those motion apps, those algorithms, uh, define what the valve function actually is. This is the highest degree of individualization. You can save a lot of energy, and you can achieve processes like industry 4.0 necessary, and, uh, and yeah, be very flexible. Let me give you an example with a motion app selectable pressure level. Selectable pressure level enables the valve to change the pressure and the flow rate directly. So with this, we can individually adjust the pressure and the speed of a cylinder. So let's say you have one box that needs to be pushed with six bar, the other one just needs three bar, then we need five bar and two bar. You very flexibly are able to change the pressure and by changing the flow as well, you can save energy but also increase your productivity because you reduce cycle times. This is theory. Let me give you an example how we take the motion terminal technology based on piezo uh, and for, for, uh, for a real application. Over this machine, over here you see um, a bending machine. So you see a metal star and this metal star is deformed by eight different pneumatic cylinders. Over here you see eight manual pressure regulators that are able to control the pressure inside those, those cylinders and deform that star. Below this machine you see that we installed also a Festo motion terminal. This Festo motion terminal has four different valves and we use two channels of this valve to control eight cylinders. Now, let's go to the operation. I'm going to deform the, the metal sheet star by just turning the pressure regulators, by changing the pressure inside these, these uh, cylinders, I'm able to change the, this, the, the, the pattern. Doing so, I can yeah, very easily and manually change the patterns. This is actually time consuming. And imagine you have a night shift and someone is changing the pattern, you may have um, issues with your production results. The motion terminal is digitizing this. So we are getting rid of manual adjustments. And I will now show you how we can, with a digital uh, adjustment of the pressure, change the patterns very, very fast. You now on the screen maybe see that we are able to change the pressures very easily. I'm changing the pattern just by a, by a finger point and can make a different pattern just in some seconds. This is not enough. I just want to show you how we are able to switch patterns in seconds. So this is the highest flexibility. Imagine you would do this with a digital pressure adjustment, which is incredibly um, uh, time consuming. So this is what digital pneumatics is actually about. This was one example, actually, for pressure control. 
it's not only pressure. We saw flow before, and I really want to show you how we are able, from a, from a perspective of a workbench you see on the next display, um, how we are really able to switch the dif different functions. What you see over here is a workbench. Um, we have one VTEM single valve installed. We have different um, operational plates. And with these op operational plates, we are able to show that really software is the thing that is changing uh, the valve terminal. So what you see over here is a, is a normal cylinder, it's a DLGF, and we are going to show how we are able to take the, the VTEM valve to move the cylinder in a basic way. I'm pressing left, I'm pressing right, and the cylinder basically moves. I can plug it so that I cannot move it. I'm trying to move it, it's filled with six bar actually, I cannot move it. But in the second step, I can vent it as well. So now I can basically move it. This can also be done by hardware, but the problem with hardware is that you need a very complex system. Again, right now I just have one valve and everything is done by software. This was moving a cylinder, so pneumatic motion. The next example should be another one, like pressure. I'm just detaching this device. I'm taking the next one which actually in that case um, contains two grippers with two rubber balls and with a function proportional pressure regulation, I am able to control the gripper force. I'm attaching the plate to this workbench. I am basically connecting the tubes. The motion terminal immediately understands what motion app is needed for, operational, um, for operating those grippers. And right now I am able with two set points change the pressure of those grippers. As you see in that gripper I have a, the highest force, I can change the force and the gripper is bending back. The same with the right gripper. And again it's one valve, it's just software that is changing the gripper force very flexibly and very easily. And still remember, it's one valve with two channels. This makes the valve also very interesting from, a, from the occup occupation of space. Let's do the next one. I'm again detaching this system. Now I'm choosing the application with turbines. And now I'm able to control with a proportional directional control valve function the speed of those turbines. The same situation, I'm attaching this device to this workbench. Motion terminal directly understands what kind of motion app is needed for this operational plate. I'm, I'm mounting the, the tubes and I'm directly able to change the speed of the turbines by controlling flow. Now maybe you question if uh, what do you need one wall for which is able to change different functions from movement, from pressure to flow. Well, it's very easy because you have a very uh, reduced amount of variety in your production. It's only one part number. Imagine you have motion applications, pressure applications and flow applications. It's just one valve you need. It's just one part number. It's very easy for your maintenance stuff as well to switch if something is broken. Also for engineering, imagine you have only one part number for pneumatics in the future. This makes motion terminal very interesting and this makes digital pneumatics very interesting as well. So, um, to show you at the end that it's not only a theory over here that we have real industry applications, I would like to take the last minutes to show you our last display over here, which is about process industries. Over here, you see a um, process industry application. We are talking about bioreactor application. Um, and the motion terminal, as you see down there in the cabinet, the motion terminal is the only uh, device that is controlling this, this whole cabinet. You don't see any pressure regulators. You just see four valves that are controlling this reactor. So with those four valves, you have different functions. We are controlling the pressure inside this reactor. We are controlling the different functions. For example, we have a pinch valve over here, and this pinch valve is controlling the, the water flow in that case. So together, so 
this is what I, I meant before. It's, it's a completely reduction of the complexity in your system. It's one valve terminal, it's one part number for one whole application. Imagine something goes wrong, your maintenance staff only needs to choose one valve from the, from the stock, one part number, exchange this, and you save a lot of money in maintenance, and even by, by uh, finding the, the, the right spare parts. So, um, I will come back to piezo technology. As you saw before, our piezo technology is the, is the technology that, is, that enables us to do so. What you see over here in my hand, this little tiny piezo valve, is the key of digitization, dig digitalization of pneumatics. So with this piezo valve, we are able to build a motion terminal like this, and we can keep the whole complexity in one simple product with one part number. So thank you very much for listening. I am very um, happy that I brought this, this product very near to you in the last 15 minutes, and I hope that you are very interested in using this as well. Martin, thanks a lot for giving Marcus, me the chance. Marcus, thank you very much for giving this introduction to our customers and showing how innovative Festo on the one side is and that this innovation will help you in your application strongly. And actually, therefore, we have a lot of questions and I love it. I really love it that you work with us, that you interact with us and that, they, that you have those questions. We have here a question, what is the switching frequency of piezo valves? Piezo actually can switch very, very fast. So we have a very fast switching um, uh, frequency we can achieve. But I want to mention that it's not actually the switching cycle we want to achieve with Piezo. Piezo, the, the key of Piezo actually is that we are able to move proportionally. So it's not that we substitute a, a switching valve, it's a proportional valve. And this is the main key of using Piezo. Okay, great. So very fast. What would be very fast? In milliseconds, do we have? I would uh, say I would say we are in the range of one or two or three milliseconds. So, well, this is actually fast. It is. But definitely. then the the need is more that we have a proportional valve. This is this is the key precise. actually. The key. Everything mm -hmm. we saw is about the proportional movement yeah. of piezos. Another one. Do we need to calibrate the piezo valve in its lifetime? or after certain cycles? This is an interesting question. Okay. So Piezo has certain effects um, also causing um, a lifetime adjustment. So actually not you customers need to calibrate this. This is what actually we, we are doing. Um, talking about um, the calibration and also the digital pneumatics, we are able to calibrate during uh, the, the movement, during mm -hmm. also the operation. So this is what we oh. do with intelligent algorithms. Oh, interesting. So yes, it has to be calibrated, but no, you don't have to, but we do this by an intelligent calibration algorithm Algorithm on the job. On the job. So wow. On the job, okay. right. I'm learning also something from, from our specialists. This is great. Great, Martin. I'm and very then happy. <laughs> me too. A, lo a lot of <laughs> nice questions. This is good. Yeah, thank you. Uh, with which accuracy can pressure be controlled with the Festo Motion Terminal? The pressure accuracy, you mean? The pressure accuracy, exactly. Well, um, so I want to mention again that pressure is just one application yep. area we can go into, yep. uh, but it's a very good thing because we can co can solve multi-pressure functions and we can, solving uh, pressure applications, we can re um, achieve a repetitive accuracy mm -hmm. of less than 40 millibars. Combining this with a cylinder... Um, 0 0.04 bar. Exactly, exactly. Mm. So Kay. depending on the friction of the cylinder itself, we can achieve very accurate force controls. I mean, <laughs> a cylinder wouldn't, wouldn't even uh, spüren, recognize, uh, recognize feel. or feel, yeah. A cylinder wouldn't even feel 0 0.04 bar. I expect the fr friction would be much higher yeah, than yeah, that. Yeah, the friction yeah. is much higher. So thank you very much. Yes, we have many more questions. So please take these questions to your um, sales engineer to your sales representative to the representative in the chat functions and post them and thank you very much Marcus for being with us thank you for the questions thank you for your internal questions that shows us that you are looking into your applications and trying to combine your applications with this innovative product thanks a lot Marcus thank thanks you. a lot thank, thank you for us. listening and take care and stay tuned and uh, we will have in the next 10 minutes another session for you, our last session for today, but still also innovations. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.